wondering for if, the I'm sake wondering of... If, I'm wondering if, the, if, if a great... Uh, if a gr- are we rolling? Yeah. I'm wondering if, if a, uh, a, a great chef, a, a family goes to a, a celebratory meal where a great chef provides incredible food, and uh, how is it that all these people's identities from the father, the mother, the children, the chef himself or herself, uh, uh, how are they, how is all this manifesting itself? Okay, Does that so make sense as a question? Yes, sort of. They're all being brought out at their best in a sort of world which is self-enclosed and cut off from everything else, and that's done by a kind of mood. They're in a shared mood which they brings them all together or it doesn't work. I mean, but if it works, there's the shared mood. It brings them all together. They, they've got this food, which it would be better if they had uh, grown it or at least picked it at the farmer's market and prepared it so that they, it had, they brought the, that into it. And it, it, because it requires a skill, it requires a mood, it requires this stuff, and it requires that it works. And it's out of your hand whether finally everybody, the children start throwing the food at each other or whether everybody comes out at their best. Uh, But if it works, it provides a memorable event which is satisfying and meaningful while you're in it. Deeply because I guess Heidegger would say, and it's probably right, you are creating and maintaining a world, a a small, local, temporary, world, that it's self-contained, all the stuff in the world, outside the political issues and the, uh, uh, let me think, Why is this self-containment issues. important? Well, that's what I was having trouble saying. If we are the kind of beings who uh, get our fulfillment and, 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 and flourish by disclosing worlds, opening worlds and what maintaining does that mean to disclose worlds? That means First of all, when, 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 when we talk about the world, it's not like the earth, right? That's We're right. It's not like, like the world of that's sports, right. the that's world right. of... That's right. It's exactly the world. And this is the, the world of the Thanksgiving dinner, though. The, the, the early Heidegger thought about these big worlds, like in the, the world of the workshop or the world of theater or the world of business. But late Heidegger, which we're at now, and but that Heidegger didn't worry about what made particular human life memorable and, and worth doing. And then he got this idea that it's the thing that is somehow people are made to do and flourish when they do it is to uh, create a space in which things come out at their best and they come out at their best. And it's self-contained. I'll explain it in, in, by giving an example, two examples that people might recognize. In the movie Babette's Feast, which is a beautiful example of a, of a celebratory meal that, that works, uh, they start by bickering with each other and blaming each other and complaining about the fact of things that the, the minister wouldn't have done it that way and so forth, and they resolve not to en- enjoy the food. And then gradually the mood of, of all being together in this takes over and all these outside concerns and past gripes are forgotten and they are all shining practically literally with this kind of um, togetherness at w- where for a certain time it, something matters and it matters to them all. The other example is uh, in um, To the Lighthouse, Virginia. Wait, wait, before we go to another right, example, okay. I, w- I want to okay, get at this, it, it seems like a crucial uh, again, I'm trying to link together things that maybe are going to be difficult to link together, but let's just try this. To in- exhibit intelligent behavior, um, you have to be able to sort out the relevant from the irrelevant, right? right? Right, very important. And in order for us to have identities, either as professors, as athletes, as chefs, um, we need to have things matter for us. And it seems like there's a relationship between uh, uh, relevance and mattering and becoming who we are as human beings. Is that, that too right. much of a stretch? No, no, that's right, that's right. Uh, this is different than, doesn't help us yet with the, the world, except that we add something. That it, what matters and what is relevant is whatever it is that's being created in that group uh, with its cl- mood. And that's the, cl- in the, the self-enclosedness, which Heidegger thinks is so important. I mean, it, it, 
it determines what's relevant and it determines what matters and it excludes all this this past bickering and trouble that all these people may have had with each other or with the, their family before they came to the meal and within it everything matters and everything is relevant and outside of it there isn't anything else that's what it is to say that it's a self-contained world and that's that makes it very meaningful. I don't know more, more how, why, I can't say. It, it matters that it's like that. But ultimately, we need uh, these practices and our skills in order to have things matter and to have meaning in our that's lives. Right. Is that, is that's right. Is that a conclusion that's sure. we can come to? That's right. Of course, we have to have the shared skills to create a classroom event or a meal event. and. It's partly the, the exercise of that skill in the sense of wanting it to be excellent. We're back to masters again. Uh -huh. the, the, the love of the craft of creating this kind of meal uh -huh. is part of what makes it matter and it makes it worth doing. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, to bring it back to computers and the, the importance of our shared real world, uh, you've, you've been thinking a lot about uh, uh, contrasting our world where things matter, where people become skill, uh, skillful, be, where they take risks, where things matter, uh, as opposed to uh, the, the virtual worlds where we don't have any of those qualities, right? Yes. Go like this, you have a little, it looks like you might be bleeding a little bit. Uh oh, oh, I, I had a nosebleed this morning, to, to my surprise. Was, uh, I was. 